saying you've only found one contract. You have no evidence that there's anything wrong with it. And, of course, you know, two of you are running for Congress. So why doesn't this look like just a political press conference? I think Senator Rogers has made it real clear. I mean, we're talking about activities that have taken place throughout this country that are very alarming. And the very fact that we have an organization that is willing to take taxpayer dollars and then teach people how to evade taxes should be alarming to everyone in this room. And so the very fact that your tax dollars, dollars that are coming out of your paycheck, are going to organizations that are teaching others how to evade taxes themselves is something that I believe is not a partisan issue. I mean, this is an American issue. And in a time when revenues are down in the state, when we have excessive spending in the federal government, I mean, this is a great opportunity for the federal government to look at this and say, this is some funding we need to stop and we need to put back in the Treasury and we need to get it back to the taxpayers instead of having an organization train others in how to evade taxes. But do you have evidence of that happening here in Georgia? I don't think we're looking at it from a state-by-state -state issue. In, earlier in the press conference prior to you getting here was this is an issue that has occurred throughout the country. I mean, there are multiple indictments throughout the United States. So Senator Rogers made it clear that while it's occurring in many other states, there's we should not stand here and idly stand by and allow the taxpayers of Georgia to continue to fund uh, this organization in our state just for the mere fact that uh, nothing has, has, there's been no indictment in Georgia at this point. What a devil's advocate here. Um, this is a, a big agency. It's, it's nationwide. It has affiliates in a lot of different states. Um, would this not be uh, something like uh, the federal government has prosecuted countless state and, and local officials, government for decades for corruption. Um, would this not be like saying, well, then we ought to get rid of state and local governments because it's been proven in the courts through convictions that they are ripe with corrupt individuals spending your tax dollars? Corruption is a great word for this organization. Well, you, you're absolutely that, right. Analogy. I mean, would you say if you've got any sort of system of, of affiliated agencies or organizations that have a lot of uh, history of people getting sent to prison, should we stop doing our business with them, including state and local governments, because they have a history of people being prosecuted and sent to prison? I guess the other side of that question is, is that if we know and we have evidence uh, in their indictments on an organization throughout, uh, through many other states, are we doing our job as representatives by continuing in that relationship with an organization that is known to have provided uh, advice to others to evade taxes, to advance prostitution. They fired, they fired those people, and we're talking four individuals out of an agency that <coughs> handled $15 billion. And I believe we heard 70 other, was it 70 other? 70, 70 other con yeah, felony convictions throughout their organization. I mean, it's, it's, it's evident. I mean, this, this, is, uh, this is an organization that is, is corrupt and, and, is, and has shown that throughout the United States. And I guess the, the question we have and we hear from our constituents is, when are we going to hear about it in Georgia on the news? When are we going to turn turn on the news and one night learn that this has happened in our state? I mean, it could be, Georgia could be next, and we're here to say we're trying to uh, put forth that, uh, that we are serious about this, that we're not going to stand idly by until we hear about it on the news. If you have the option of calling for voluntary officials to get involved and interrupt contracts and investigate their own situation, why have you stopped short of not calling for criminal investigation. You mentioned it, didn't, it wasn't logical that there wouldn't be lily white in this state. Why not have the Attorney General take this up? Why are you calling for something like that down the road? Well, we... <clears throat> We need to take this in a step-by-step -step process. The first thing we're trying to ascertain are any public uh, tax dollars going to ACORN, whether they be from the state or the local level. Uh, so that's the first step. Uh, if, if the executive branch through law enforcement wishes to pursue this uh, on a criminal matter, uh, surely they'll have to build a case, and that's the American way. And, and if that information exists, we would certainly uh, support them in doing so. And in answering Jeff's question, uh, if an elected official at any level is involved in criminal activity, they should be prosecuted. Uh, to the fullest extent of the law. But there's also a remedy that goes beyond that, and it's called elections. Uh, if elected officials are behaving in a manner that their electorate finds reprehensible, they can get rid of them. Uh, we can't do that with ACORN. ACORN is not on the ballot. 
but those organizations that involve themselves with ACORN, we can call on them to distance themselves from ACORN. Those elected officials that are involved with ACORN uh, will probably receive the stain of being involved with ACORN. So we're taking the steps necessary to ensure that taxpayer dollars aren't going to this type of organization, particularly in light of what Representative Setzler said, and that is there are a multitude of organizations that can fulfill these type of obligations. Uh, there are a multitude of organizations that can tell the people of Georgia that food stamps are available. It doesn't need to go to an organization like ACORN. So we're calling on all governments, all agencies at every level to investigate whether taxpayer dollars are going to ACORN. And if so, look into those contracts and see if they can uh, begin the process of cutting off those contracts immediately and ensuring the taxpayers that no future contracts would be let that involved ACORN. I'll let uh, Representative Setzler close this out. So, Tom, I think the, the point I made earlier was that ACORN is one of a, a group of, of federally approved organizations to provide a service. Um, certainly, you know, we can today, in hindsight, look back at, at criminal investigations going back over the past three years of certain individuals within, within uh, ACORN. I think it's become more clear to us that there's a, a nationwide concern. It's not just isolated incidents. Um, but I think if you put yourself in the position of our DHR commissioner or, or her appointed staff having federally approved agencies provide services, it's not in 2007, 2008 when these contracts were executed, it's not beyond the realm of reason to consider um, a, a federally vetted approved entity. But I think certainly with, with the, the revelations that have come to light in the last year, out of abundance of caution, I think it would be, we, it's our belief that further relationship with said organization is, is, is just not appropriate. Regardless of their investigation of the individuals or their particular case, you suggest they should sever regardless of what their investigation is? We believe out of, out of an abundance of caution, given the, the nationwide nature um, that we've seen, again, in multiple states, uh, whether it's, uh, and again, as, as organizations such as the, the United States Census Bureau have formally severed ties, the United States Senate has overwhelmingly voted in a bipartisan 87 to, or 83 to 7 way to, to cease funding of ACORN. We believe it's consistent with the state, state of Georgia uh, to take these steps, these measured steps, with the potential for future steps, um, again, to, to sever our relationship with the organization. I appreciate your time today. We've, uh, again, uh, I, I do, we have provided for you some materials. Uh, we've got a, a copy of federal contracts uh, that ACORN has has directly gotten from the federal government over the last uh, decade, uh, again, heavily weighted towards the uh, previous three years. We've got uh, some details about 18 criminal investigations, 14 of which have, have been in the past three years. We will make those available to you at the end. And again, we really appreciate your interest and would encourage the press corps here in Georgia to help us in this process of making sure there's no impropriety here in Georgia with state tax dollars by the organization ACORN. Thank you.